I'm Matthew Dale, it's from the Science of Psychotherapy, and here's a little snippet from our podcast. This is me with Richard Hill demonstrating mirroring hands. The, the way in which we, uh, with the mirroring hands process, because I don't always use the mirroring hands process, but I always apply the mirroring hands approach, this, this focus, looking to create focus, looking to stimulate curiosity, and looking for ways in which the client and the therapist can feel as though they're moving in a, a, a beneficial direction. Okay. Um, okay. I don't even like so, to use the word positive, just beneficial. Right, so you've got, and, you've got these set of techniques mirroring hand techniques but you've got the underlying philosophy which is pervasive through all that you do in yeah. therapy okay and and lots of people when i'm doing workshops say oh i already do that in my whatever i say terrific see i'm not teaching you my bit of magic i'm teaching you the our awareness of the magic the, you know the 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 wonders and the, the, the particular way we do it in mirroring hands, and there's lots of reasons why we use hands, and we talk about that extensively in the book, of course, uh, but they're very vibrant parts of our, our, our body. That, I mean, they occupy an enormous amount of mental landscape. The hands and the lips and, and tongue occupy the, the greatest parts mm. of, of landscape. And so they're, we're very aware of them. And if you just look at your hands with a great deal of surprised attention as if you've never really looked at them before okay kind of like with fresh yeah. eyes yeah. yeah with really fresh eyes hmm. and and look at those hands notice are they square are they long whenever hmm. i do it i always see more wrinkles <laughs> i think i do too <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> and as we're doing this now of course in this moment i've grabbed your focus of attention yeah as soon as I can feel that you are really looking at your hands and things, when you joked and said, I think I can see that too, you've shifted your focus. Right. Now, of course, I'm ruining it by, right, by explaining, you're explaining it. Right, explaining it, it now, yes. Yes. Yeah. But that element, and if you just quickly go back and just look at those fingers, look at the jewelry. Hmm. Look at it. Now, I wonder if somehow one of those hands might feel different. I wonder if it might feel a little warmer hmm. or a little heavier. And I wonder if the hand that's feeling warmer or cooler and wants to be noticed will make some kind of movement or action without you almost all by itself. Yeah, do you... Uh let me just explain what you... what's happening to me. So my right hand feels warmer. Wow. And um, then when you said, you know, does it feel like it wants to do anything? And it, it's very, very subtle, but it feels like it wants to close up. You're feeling so this closing up. Closing up. Okay. Yeah. So let's just relax for the moment. Okay. We could go in. The trouble with this demonstrating mirroring hands is you link the consciousness to the, the, the explicit and the implicit. Right, right. And it's always an actual experience. And it, so i got to sort of try to <clears throat> cut things off. Mm. So, yeah. But you weren't causing that. You yeah. weren't directing it. It was just doing it almost all by itself. Mm. Mm. So there's your nascent possibility. Wow. I don't know what's going on, but something. I wonder, I want to see what's happening next. And so, when we, I, I asked you whether one hand was different mm. than the other, in order to discover that, you had to be curious. Yes. You had to be interested. Yeah, that's I, right. I wonder which, oh my God, that one is. Yeah. Oh, look, it's starting to close. Whoa, how amazing. Okay. And that's a. Now, I know at that point that you have, that we have now created a connection and a link. Uh, between your conscious awareness of what's going on and the implicit processes that are related to that conscious uh -huh. awareness. Okay, so, this is, so it's a doorway. You're, you're opening up a door. Yeah. In, in, yeah. 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 Mm. And whereas if I'm saying, Matt, um, tell, me, tell me whether uh, you can make one of your hands go hot or cold and close it. I mean, as right. a cognitive experience, it's it's useless. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I don't want to continue because because <laughs> they can get complicated. But yes, that closing of the hand will have some relevance.
Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you. Thank you.